So the first Orphan has been hyped quite a bit. I watched it. I reviewed it on this channel. I really didn't like it beginning to end. The twist was okay. It was whatever, but the rest of the movie just really wasn't for me. I had absolutely no interest in watching the sequel, Orphan First Kill. I saw a reviewer say that the twist in this movie was one of the best he'd seen all of last year, so that got me to watch it, and wow, was I pleasantly surprised how much I like this one. Orphan First Kill, way better than the original Orphan. In fact, I don't like Orphan, and I really like this film. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on Orphan First Kill. Now, the original Orphan is hyped quite a bit. A lot of people like it. It's got a pretty good outside the box twist, but I really, really did not like that movie. For me, the little demon girl, whatever her name is, when she was messing with Via Farmiga in the first movie, she basically just escalates how much she messes with Via Farmiga over and over and over. And everybody that Via Farmiga tries to talk to or explain what's happening, nobody believes her all the way up until the last scene. And I can't stand watching movies like that. I understand that Orphan is going to kind of one-up the girl the whole time, but the fact that nobody believes her the entire movie up until the end just really killed the original Orphan for me. This movie is exactly how the original Orphan should have gone, in my opinion. It was a million times better. It was better in every way. I would own Orphan First Kill. I do not want to own Orphan. So to describe parts of this movie, I do kind of have to describe what happens in the first Orphan. So there's going to be absolutely no spoilers for this movie, Orphan First Kill, but there may be a few spoilers for the original Orphan, which came out in 2009. So I just want to put that out there. There will be no spoilers for this movie though, so you're good. All right guys, let's jump into the pros that I have with this movie. And the pros is kind of like what I've just been saying. It is way, way better than the original Orphan. And there's kind of like a power dynamic to where the family that she lives with kind of has their own things going on and aren't exactly the most PG family ever. And then you also have this stuff going on with Orphan. So instead of Orphan just dominating everything until the end and you have one last fight, it's much more of a back and forth, which I really, really appreciated. And I do gotta say, the twist in this movie is really, really good. And it does take a while for it to happen. I'm kind of mixed on, do I want the twist a little bit earlier? Do I want it a little bit later? It happens about 55 to 60 minutes of this movie. And this movie isn't a bad movie. It's just not as entertaining or interesting until you get to the twist. And then when you get to the twist, it's like, oh wow, like let's see where this goes. You know what I mean? So the twist here was absolutely great. I kind of wish it came a little bit sooner so that I think the movie would have been a little more engaging that way. But at the same time, it was a great twist. I never saw it coming and it completely flips everything you think you know upside down. So this twist was great. For what it is, it's an absolutely great movie. I really enjoyed it. All right, guys, let's jump into the mixed aspects. I only have one and that is her anti-aging. So this is the point where I have to describe what happens in the first Orphan. So the twist of the first Orphan is people go to this adoption clinic to pick up this girl. They think the girl is like seven or eight, but really she's like 30 or something. And she's like this really evil adult that pretends to be an orphan and then just kind of messes with every family or messes with whatever she wants basically. So this movie is, I think what, 12, 13 years after the original. So it's funny because originally she plays a, a little girl pretending to be a big girl and now she's playing a big girl pretending to be like a little girl again. It's pretty funny, pretty interesting, but I felt like a lot of the anti-aging stuff they did was really good, but it wasn't flawless. Like the second that I saw her, I'm like, oh yeah, she looks 30, you know? But at the same time, there was a lot of other things that they did like body doubles and CGI to where they really do pull it off for the most part, but it wasn't perfect for me. All right, guys, let me jump into the cons of this movie. And I really don't have too much. And to be honest, it might even be a personal thing, but just the style of this movie just isn't the most interesting to me. It's essentially like an upper middle class family and you do these kind of simple family dynamics. So not that much happens besides 
you know, what's going on with the orphan and things past the twist, but I can't really hold it back because that's like what you expected from this movie. Like if you knew what orphan was, you're gonna see pretty much the same thing. It's like household drama and at the end it gets crazy. So just the style wasn't my absolute favorite, but it's also hard for me to take a point away for that. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much the only negative that I could come up with. The theme is a little bit slow and the mom and daughter stuff in the beginning is a little bit slow and not the quickest and most interesting. But at the same time, it wasn't like it was extremely slow and it could be part of my personality or part of my personal taste that feels that way. So anyways, guys, if I had to rate this movie, I would rate it an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. Very, very good. If I had to rate the original Orphan, it would probably be like a 6. 6.5 maybe like that's about as high as I could go so this one's an 8.5 to a 9 completely deserves it for buy try or pass I'm kind of in the middle of recommending a buy or a try for you guys for me I would personally like to buy it just because I appreciated the twist of this movie and I appreciated how well done it is but it's a movie that I think most people would really really enjoy renting but I don't know if they would essentially want to buy it maybe you would I don't know but as far as I'm concerned you could toss the original orphan in the trash all you need is this one it is way better in every way that's just my personal opinion so have you seen orphan guys have you seen orphan first kill I'll be very interested to see if you liked one of these movies both of these movies none of these movies let me know down below we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace